Hello! It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm thinking about just like taking you to the thrift store and seeing what's up. We'll see if we find anything. I do need some finishing touches for some Christmas presents. So I don't know. Let's see. Side note, I am having issues with my tire. I think there's something in it, but instead of fixing it, I am just spending lots of money on filling up the tire pressure. <laughs> Let's go thrift shopping. I was obsessed with this mirror. It was only $20, but it did require like a lot of work. So I left it behind. I really love this hurricane lamp. I believe it was $25. Uh, unfortunately, I just left it behind. I didn't have the space for it. These ironstone plates, uh, beautiful stamp. Again, I left them behind just because I didn't know what to do with them for now. these ironstone plates um beautiful stamps underneath i believe one of them was five dollars the other one was ten great price i just decided to leave it behind because ironstone doesn't actually do that well for me let me show you what i got getting this piece i looked it up and they're worth a lot of money uh, which is super cool and i really like the stamp on the bottom made in england rouge royale got this super sweet butter pad that I'm totally keeping for myself. Um, it has the nicest little stamp on the back. Shelton, England. Uh, maybe ring dish. I got two of these Capiz shell tea light holders that I'll probably put in some surprise bags for the booth. I got a little bust of uh, Mendelssohn. Uh, <laughs> a musician that I'm gonna also put in a surprise bag. A little piece of crystal for the surprise bag. I'm into it lately. And this is gonna be for me for now. It's a thistle etched situation and it's crystal and it has a signature on the bottom, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh crystal. So that's super exciting. I thought I heard someone behind me. <laughs> On to the next shop. This here, oh, so beautiful. It was $150. The details were everything. And then this hurricane lamp, I left it behind. It was $15, uh, just a reproduction, but it was so beautiful. this table only $20 I love the wear I may go back for it and this vanity only $90 such a good price just didn't have the room the uranium glass there is a couple pieces of it but the prices for each piece were pretty wild I didn't get to film too much in there just because it's like super busy and I'm still awkward in front of people when I film. Um, so first off, I got this little brass trivet 
um, that I'm gonna put in surprise bags. I got a boot tray, not exciting, that's for me. Uh, <laughs> I got this super sweet, it's like a milk glass um, jar and it opens and I have no idea what it's for. But there's like, um, underneath the price, Underneath the price, you can see that there's like a blank spot that you can like, I guess, label your own jar. And it's always a plus when the cashier compliments your items. At least this is the first thing I found. I immediately ran for it and it didn't have a price on it because it wasn't supposed to be for sale. But I was like, oh my God, I love him. So she got me a price. It's getting so late. Do I go to another stop? It's like I'm in the area, I should do it. But, I'm gonna do it. This was so good for $22. If you were into mid-century modern, I think that would have been such a steal. This sign, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I really like this piece. I just forgot to go back for it, so. That's awkward. I quickly breezed through this aisle looking for copper and I didn't see any today, but sometimes you win and I didn't. These would make super sweet little plant pots or dessert bowls. Ugh, these books, I literally died when I saw them. I'll explain later in the video Always looking for fabrics. I was looking in the section for something pretty specific to finish off a Christmas present and they didn't have what I was looking for. But now that I'm looking, I see like some things I probably like would have normally taken a closer look at. Now that we have better lighting and I'm home, I can show you what I got at the last stop. Mirror. So it's like an ornate gold mirror and it has black velvet around the edge. This is all. And then on the back, there's like these markings and stamps. But then someone wrote on the back saying, 1989 moved to Morrison Road from um, Arrington Drive. Anyways, it's just like a sweet little thing that someone, I don't know, it's just a nice mirror. Okay. This, um, like, stoneware bottle. It's beige. It's old. Has, like, a nice whatever. Anyways, I got this bottle. Nice. got this candle snuffer. I guess the back, oh my god, this dog. A lot of patina on it, and I just really like the shape. It's just funky, like I've never seen one like this before. Um, so. And last but not least, I got this old book, well, vintage, um, Healthy Minds and Bodies. <clears throat> it has like a nice little emboss there. And it's just like, an, it includes some crazy things in here, I feel. Um, so I'm excited to read it. <laughs> the 
but this is in the baby section <laughs> and they have like images of like fun little toothbrushes and <laughs> this one <laughs> it's a gun that is not something you want your child to put in its mouth let me just put that out there Whew. So this book, I'm excited to go through it, add to my collection because I already have one in my hutch over here. Let me take you. It's like a dark blue in comparison to this one that I already had. But yay, it's like a little set that I'm collecting now. <laughs> this is the best thing I got all day. So. Look! <sighs> He's so cute! And I got a little bust for a surprise bag. You know who Mendelssohn is? Mendelssohn? Mendelssohn, yes. Mendelssohn? <laughs> Mendelssohn. <laughs> um, and then, I'm really happy about this because the little iron stone, they call them butter pats. <laughs> and then I got this candle snuffer to replace the one we have because I think this one's more unique and fun. <laughs> I know we never use our candle snuffer, but what if one day we start? Then we'll have a cool one. It smells like soap. Stop recording. <laughs> doing great for us. This is why I can't get anything done. I want to be a part of this. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I am whooped after just a couple hours of thrifting. I haven't done it in a while. I forgot how much it takes out of you. If you don't already, please follow me on Instagram at gatherist. And please like, subscribe, all that jazz would be great. And see ya next time I decide to make a video. Oh my god, oh my god, I have like a mullet. Okay, anyways.